the what day is it the 26th it's boxing day for those of you who are not in australia or possibly the uk boxing day we celebrate the day after christmas um i'm not even 100 percent sure how it got its name i've heard some people say it's when you box up all your presents <laughs> to take them back to the shop but no I, I don't think that's right um i'm not exactly sure of the origins of boxing day if somebody wants to tell me what the real thing is that would be great but i am not quite sure I just know it's the day after Christmas and it's an extra day to lie around, possibly still in a food coma and um, and we get a public holiday for that. Woohoo! <laughs> so um, here today, it was Sunday, of course, which is why I'm live tonight. Um, if you are on, please say hi. Tell me that you're live. Let me know that um, you're here with me and let's get this, start, this thing started. So... I'm just going to refresh and make sure I can be seen in the right place. Is it working? It seems to be. Da da. Look, there I am. Excellent. All right. So say hi. I know we might have less people. Hey, Jodie. Hi, Helen. I don't know. We may not have as many people um, watching tonight. Maybe people are all still with their families. I still have my dad and his wife staying with us at the moment. And, um, and the idea is um, I think they're heading back on Tuesday. So here for a couple more nights, but I'm going to do just a quick little live with you guys tonight, show you something old and something new. Remember, I'm doing the something old, something new thing. I'm actually planning on doing a couple of videos with that theme this week um, between Christmas and New Year. I know it's a time that a lot of people are busy and have families around and so forth, but it's also a time that a lot of people are not busy. Maybe they're on holidays, maybe work is closed down. Um, so maybe you have got time to, to watch and get inspired. Hey, happy Boxing Day to you too, Margaret. Nice to see you there. All right, let's let's um, let's turn this camera around and get going. All right, just give me a second while I do that. So we've just got a few days left now of this Christmas catalogue. Let me straighten this up, make it look like I'm, like I'm kind of straight. Um, and... There are lots of things, even though we have sold out of quite a few things in here that are retiring, there's still lots left. And I've picked something tonight that has not yet, not yet finished, but you may find that um, some of these things are on low stock. Okay, so you would need to get them quickly if there's something in here. And what I wanted to look at tonight is actually on page 45. And it's this beautiful Blackberry Beauty Suite. Okay, so... In this suite, nearly everything is retiring, the paper, the stamps, the dies, uh, I believe the vellum, but the and the ephemera pack is going or gone already, but um, the gold ribbon, the shimmer ribbon, that is not retiring. Okay, that one's sticking around, um, but everything else is actually going to be going. So this this paper to be honest i'm i'm really surprised it's still there um it is so beautiful and it's been one of the stars of this catalog um and i'll just quickly show it to you if you haven't seen it before hopefully you can see i'm just going to bring up my my camera so i can see better what i'm okay so it's this beautiful it's got foil it's a specialty paper it has foil on one side you can see that gorgeous foil there the light catches it and then the other side is plain but no matter which side you look at they're all quite beautiful so the colors in this are really unusual um and they're colors i would never have thought to put together they're listed down here at the bottom of page 46 uh, 45 and it's polished pink blackberry bliss rich raspberry early espresso cinnamon cider and gold okay and so that's all the colors that are in this paper and so it's a bit unusual so there's as always two sheets of each um and there's you know birds and polished pink and blackberry bliss those are the two colors on the reverse of this ah well i'm here because um I was thinking about it, well, I count this as a holiday, and kind of it is, but then again, I thought to myself, you know, there's people who may, may be finding that they don't have to go to work tomorrow, and they're, they're able to watch, so I decided I would still come on and maybe just do a shortened version, okay? So there's this beautiful one here. This reminds me of oak leaves with, like, little acorns or something there in the middle, or they're something like that. They look like acorns to me. And on the back, we have some cinnamon cider paper design. Can everyone hear me okay? Is the sound good? 
Did everyone have a lovely Christmas? Did anyone do anything really lovely or very special? Um, I know some people, Christmas is, is a hard time. I know this. Um, I was talking to a couple of friends who have been struggling a little bit this Christmas because of various reasons. Um, you know, either uh, the pandemic has negatively affected them so they can't be with people that they love or, you know, other things that are similar, people going through hard times. And, and so I'm really aware of that. Um, and it's hard sometimes to find a silver lining and something to be grateful for. But th those things are always there if we look really hard. And, and I'm very grateful um, to be with my family this time. Um, my dad and his wife, like I said, they're here. Um, with us for a few days and my kids are here this year as well they my son and um, daughter are usually alternate uh, Christmases with me and their dad so this Christmas we have have all of them here and I'm very grateful for that I have had Christmases in days gone by by myself and those ones have been pretty hard to take but um, of course I'm very grateful to have my husband around these days and um, he make, he makes sure that I don't have any more Christmases on my own so that's nice all right, so I don't know if you can see, there's all like little gold dots through the top of this really, really beautiful paper. And, you know, this paper, so it's stunning all by itself. I'm actually missing a couple of sheets out of this pack because I've obviously used them. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how this paper feels and looks. It is really... Um, What's the word? Sumptuous is the word that comes to mind, but that's not the word I really wanted to. Um, glamorous? Anyway, you guys get, get the idea. Um, it's very over the top, this paper, and I think it's really, really beautiful. So I thought we'd try and have a little play around with it. And I've pulled out all the colours, these colours that I mentioned to you. I've pulled them all out just so we can see what they look like together. And like, like I said, well, this is an extra... Crumb cake isn't listed as a colour, but I very frequently use crumb cake with these colours because I think it looks nice. But these are the colours that are listed. Polish pink, then blackberry bliss. Where is that? There it is. Then rich razzleberry, then early espresso. Can you see what I mean about their colours I might not have chosen to put together? Cinnamon cider and gold. Okay, they're the colours that are listed, but they actually work really well I'm, I'm surprised how well they work and then i like to bring in crumb cake on top of that because i just think crumb cake goes really really nicely with all of these so oh it's just starting to rain on the roof so i hope it doesn't get too loud because this room um doesn't have a lot of insulation in the roof and it can get quite loud in here so i am actually going to cut um my gold paper and Oops, wrong ones. Uh, here they are. These are also part of this suite, the beautiful leaves dies. Okay, now the leaves and the stamps are actually on low stock. Okay, um, so the both the stamps there and the leaves are both low. So the paper currently is not, surprisingly enough. Um, I think because it was so popular, they got in a ton of that, and so they still have some, which is nice. <laughs> Um, but you know, it will be, everything will be gone as of the fourth, uh, the third of January is the last day. So here's the beautiful leaves dies. Let's pull these out. And there's this great big, really, really, really big leaf. I really like this. I've used it a lot and I've cut it up and used pieces of it as well. A couple of little leaves. We've got a couple of, well, there's three shapes here that cut out images from the stamp set so this one this one and the little bird those those are all cut out with these guys and then we've got some more little leaves here so you've got lots of little leaves you've got the big leaf which is the one i'm going to use right now um and i kind of know what i'm doing but i kind of don't i know what sometimes what i do especially if i've had a couple of busy days which as you imagine i have um i'll sit down i know what i'm going to use i don't know what the final product's going to look like but that's a nice surprise for me <laughs> and hopefully for you as well. Um, but yeah, it's it's just nice to say, okay, I want to use these items. I want to show them to you and, and use them in a different way. Let's just start and see what happens. So let me pull my big shot in. Sorry, not big shot. I still say big shot. <laughs> I can't help myself. That was the first cut and die cut machine I ever used was a big shot and this is now the new stamp and uh, cut cut and emboss machine 
not stamp, cut and emboss machine. And I'm still calling it a big shot because I just can't seem to, kind of to break that habit. But that's okay. <laughs> you had a great day, Helen. I saw your lovely photos on Facebook of your family and I thought that was such a nice picture. Was that out in front of your house? Because that just looked lovely. Ah, water slide in the backyard. You can't beat that. <laughs> and Cherie, happy Christmas to you too. So it's not Christmas anymore here, but some of my watches probably are just getting to the end of their Christmas. Um, so the UK girls are, what, about nine or ten hours behind, and um, the US girls are like 16 hours behind or something, depending on where they are in the US. All right, because there's a few different time zones. Let me get that out of the way. And you can see it's cut through really nicely. I find for a big, intricate die like this, my die brush is invaluable. I really find this a very useful tool. It's, a, it's an attachment that fits onto the end of your take-your-pick tool. So if you've got the take-your-pick tool, you can buy a little attachment for it that is this little die brush which just screws onto the end of the tool. So you take the putty end off and then you screw the brush on. And like I always say, it's the quality of your tools that really dictate the results that you get. If you have good tools, you can't go wrong. And something that Stampin' Up! does really well, they make great tools. So if you invest in tools, um, then you are always going to be one step ahead of everyone. Okay, and your, your work will be will look really professional and be really, really great. I mean, stamps are fabulous, embellishments are lovely, but it's the tools that really show up the, the quality of what you're doing. Okay, so here we have our beautiful um, piece. And because I've used this brush, all these little bits here have just fallen out beautifully. And you can see how easy that is. The brush tip does come with a foam mat that you can roll it over on a, on the foam mat. But I, as you saw then, I'm quite happy to just do it over the back of the um, of the die. And that means also my die, all the pieces, I can see there's one there, but pretty much all the pieces are out. Okay, so that's ready and clean and I can put it back away, which I'll do before I leave it lying around my desk and then I can't find it later. Ah, backyard, was it, Helen? Uh-huh. Hey, Anita. Yes, I had a very nice Christmas, thank you. Um, I I have a customer, I don't know if she's watching tonight, but um, I have a customer who um, sold me very, very cheaply about a year and a half ago, about 18 months ago, her second-hand, or it was a second-hand Thermomix. She'd bought it for her daughter, and her daughter wasn't using it, um, and... So she asked me, did I want it? And so I got it really, really cheaply. And I've always admired the mixes and watched other people use them, but just couldn't justify the money because they're quite expensive. And so buying a secondhand one seemed like a really good move for me. I cannot believe how much I use it. I use it all the time. It is just fantastic. Let me just uh, make sure this piece of paper is the right size. I just pulled it out of my scrap drawer. This is crumb cake. And I'm just making sure I've got it measured to the right. I think it is. Yep, it's right. Right, so this is going to be my base. I'm going to stay with the crumb cake. And use a bone folder just to... All right. So I'm deciding what colour to go with. And I'm going to chop up my paper accordingly. I don't mind the cinnamon cider, but I'm thinking maybe something darker. So this one is already the right size. Maybe we just go with that because it's the right size. Let's do that. Okay, so this is Blackberry Bliss, um, which is the darker of the colours. It also goes really nicely with these look lovely together. Don't they? Aren't they nice? Really, really pretty. So let's, let's set the crumb cake base aside and we'll work on our Blackberry Bliss. Now I have got this... Um, beautiful i could use the whole thing but i feel like that might be a little bit of overkill on this one i might just use part of it and i'm going to go with some paper on top some dsp so hmm we could go with a panel of so this one ideally for anyone who's wondering how do you use it when it comes from both sides you literally cut it it's the six inch mark straight down the middle which will actually give you then several card front sizes 
um, on each side. Okay, so this one is one that you would just cut in half to use it. But I'm not going to use the whole piece. I'm thinking I might use this piece though. So I'm going to go... I'm just going to come in here and do part of it. I just realised that my paper trimmer needs a new blade. You'll normally notice um, if your paper trimmer needs a new blade, I'll have a look, show you here. Can you see how I've got a bit of a ragged edge there? All right. That's because my trimmer blade is getting a little old and you notice it first on designer series paper because it's soft. Also on um, black black paper and sometimes on whisper white because they're also soft papers so um yeah you'll notice you'll notice that that if it's if you have a bit of a ragged edge it's time for a new blade and i will do that after i finish this video so i'm thinking this might look rather nice there we go doesn't that just look nice just really really simple not a lot of work required um, and I, yeah, it's really stunning, really, really beautiful. And then I think I'm going to throw some gold on here, down here, but I'm deciding now what else to add to this. I could go with, hmm, because I'm putting this on a, I'm deciding whether I want to have another piece of crumb cake, maybe that might be best. Or I could also use vanilla or white on top of this. But I'm thinking crumb cake might be a better choice. Also, I do have leftover from another project. It just happens to be sitting here. I have some cork. The cork's really nice. This is retiring as well. I'm not going to use it on this card. It's not quite right. And I think it detracts too much from the design. But I'm thinking because I have got also on my desk some of these. Um, where are they? It's my tailored tag dies. And they're underneath my paper here that I just moved. And I'm thinking I might cut a tailored tag die. Isn't it beautiful, DSP Anita? I agree. It's totally gorgeous. Hello, Jean. Hi, Oregon. You're very welcome, and it's nice to have you with me live as well. Thank you. Yes, that's true. If you clean the cutting track, the blades last longer. Absolutely. Um, the other thing is, if you do have a rough edge, like I'm not quite, even though it's only slight, I'm not quite happy with that. I usually keep a sanding block or if you don't have a sanding block, a little bit of very fine sandpaper. Keep it on your desk. This is a sanding block. We used to sell these years and years ago and I still use mine because if you've got a rough edge, you just literally use it over the edge and it will even out and soften up any any rough edges so just those two edges because these were the outside edges of, of the dsp all right so i am thinking this looks rather nice already and then let's have what size had a tag will we have maybe the largest one because that's really rather nice or we could go one down No, the largest one. Definitely the largest one. Is that you? And is that a Stetson you're wearing, Jean, in your profile photograph? Let me pull this in. I'm just going to use. my piece here I'm just going to wheel this through the other thing is of course I always keep a stash of blades the blades for this particular trimmer come in packs of four and they last a lot longer than the old trimmer blades which I am so happy about um, I have not had any customers complaining that their blades don't last long enough since I've we've had this new trimmer Okay, so let's go ahead and stick this down. This this is pretty too. It's like a little holly design here on the back, and I'm going to give this a little bit more of a stand. So 
going to just using some seal to attach this to the Blackberry Bliss cardstock. This piece just fits inside. Actually, let's start again. Now, I do like sometimes to just leave the paper like this. The other option, of course, would be to do a, probably about a one and a quarter inch or about, hmm, how long would that, how wide would that be? About maybe four centimetres or even a little less, maybe three and a half, um, another piece coordinating. So, you know, maybe the other side of this would look really nice, for example. That would look really good. But I do quite like leaving it blank, which is what I plan to do at this time because then it doesn't distract from anything. All right, so I'm thinking about this going here. Okay, so let's have a little look at our stamp set. Let's bring that in. just under here and I'm thinking this is a really nice stamp set because it has like these little blotches which I just love but also the bird and you've got some lovely delicate flowers and bits and pieces so it's actually quite easy to work with and you can create layers of um, stuff going on in the backgrounds behind words and so forth um, and I'm just deciding if I use any of these I'm here for you or these ones these three here are all long thin sayings so obviously if I want to put them on here I'm going to have to put a separate piece which I might this one would fit but I'm not sure that I want to say I know this is a difficult day I know this is a difficult day for me is a really specific saying and I think it's it would be nice on the day of a funeral for a friend or something like that. It's a beautiful thing to say because it says, I don't have the words, but I understand that this is really difficult. Um, so this, this one is really good for that, but it's so specific. I don't think it's something I would use to have in my stash. I would be more likely to use it if I had a particular person or in a particular occasion I wanted to use for it. My desk is a mess, Jean. It's always a mess, but there you go. <laughs> Your favorite brand of hat. That's so cool. All right. So it's really nice, but it's not right for this card. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to use one of these. Maybe I'm here for you. I'm here for you would actually fit on this, but I probably would still put it on a separate piece because I think it won't stand out enough. It'll just go from one side to the other. Instead, I'm going to go with some of the other things in here. I've got these this beautiful little sprig of flowers. Um, hmm. I'm looking for, I've already got um, some blocks out to use <laughs> to use on a different card for later. So I'm going to have to take them off. So this one here, and I want to do this fairly light. Maybe I will use, I think I will use Blackberry Bliss for this. So let's see how dark it is. I'm not sure. It depends. And you know what? It's not too dark. It's fine. Let's just pop that over the side here. That's very pretty, isn't it? Isn't it nice? And then we also have some splotches, which I can just put on a small block here. And I'm thinking I'm just going to do these in crumb cake. My crumb cake has actually gone, the ink pad, I don't know if you can see it, it's actually gone a bit green. Can you see that? Look at the side. That looks really, really green. <laughs> but it's crumb cake. It definitely says it is. And when I use it, it's the right color. But the ink, the, um, I don't know whether it's exposure to light, but the actual case seems to have um, changed colour. Oh, I just went and overstamped there. I guess that's where we're going to put the... Um, <laughs> that's where we're going to put the saying, the words, I guess. Whoopsie-daisy. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. It's not really in your face, and I know I can fix that. So, all right. So let me grab another... Block. I think I will go with the I'm here for you because I quite like that and for this one I want it to be darker so I'm going to go with the early espresso ink let me see it's kind of 
it's I'm actually looking forward to this week because it's a bit of a down week and there's not a lot going on there's no classes and things like that I'm actually really really looking forward to doing some uh, extra videos and some extra bits and pieces and getting getting my my head in the working thing again I'm just gonna grab uh, I think a piece of vanilla might be oh, vanilla or will I do crumb cake again hmm I feel like I want it to stand out more. I could try on cinnamon cider. We could try and see how that looks. No, I don't want to introduce another brown. So instead... I'm going to grab some vanilla. I'm a bit embarrassed at the moment. My my room looks like looks like well, I can't even say we've been burgled. It it looks like we're moving house. And the reason why is because I had a big clean out of things <laughs> and we've thrown a lot of rubbish away. Okay, that's not straight. Let me just I'm going to just pop that there and I'm going to cut around it. Um, so, yeah, I we also had, because my dad and his wife were coming, I wanted to, we cleaned out the spare room and guess where it all went? It came in here into my craft room. Um, and so the idea is before it goes back in there, we have to go through it all so that we don't put back everything that came out because there's things in there that, you know, are still in there from when we moved house a couple of years ago. So, um, yeah, it's time. <laughs> it's time for us to to really get ourselves together. All right, that's looking okay. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to grab my scissors. I'm going to make that a little shorter. It's a little bit too long. And I'm going to use my pick a banner punch. Hey, Kay, nice to see you there. So, yeah, before everything goes back in, I've got a few days and the whole the whole idea is we're going to go through, we're going to throw out, going to order a council clean up, going to, going to get a whole bunch of stuff going on. So I'm turning it over and making sure that it's straight at the back and then flagging the end. Okay, I'm going to do the same with the other end. So I'm going to turn, put it in right in here. Then I'm going to bring it to the end. Oh, it's a bit shorter now. And then I'm going to flag the end again. And there we go. So this now can go right here. Now because like the edges of this one came off before, pop it back on. I'm just going to clean that off. I probably should do it with a scrub or something, but I'm just using my fingers because there's not much ink on it. And let's, let's just stamp over that again, making sure this, see, I picked up some ink again. This time I'm looking and I'm making sure I got that off. It doesn't want to stay on the block very well, this piece. All right, so now this piece is going to go across here and no one will ever know. Now there's one more thing I want to do on here. And I'm going to use the blackberry again. And I would like to use the little bird because I think it's really pretty. So let's pop it on here. And I'm going to have the little birdie coming sort of down from the top. Making sure it's coming down from here. Just like that. And this piece here is going to go right across here. That's looking nice. Don't you think that looks cute? I'm going to bring it up so you can see it. Actually, what I'll do is I'll bring my, bring my phone down a little bit. There we go. Just like that. Right, so I'm going to very, very gently 
Have I got a dauber handy? You know what? I don't have a dauber handy. Oh, yes, I do. In the right colour. So this one has just been used before for brown. So I'm going to use it again. Just with crumb cake. Just daub around the edges. around all right now let's whack some dimensionals on the back of that yes i know you know what that's interesting your message gene um <laughs> your your message got held for review in case i didn't want to um use it because i think youtube thought maybe it was rude <laughs> But I will show it because I have no problems at all. Shelly is famous for licking her stamps at times. You are correct. Many, many, many times. I've seen her do that on stage usually. And everyone's always horrified every time she does it. It doesn't stop her. Let's, I probably should have used mini dimensionals, but it doesn't matter. There we go, just like that. All right, what do you think? Is it looking nice? I think it is. All right. Let's bring this back in here. That's looking really lovely. Now what I do want to do before I attach this is pop some ribbon in and I've brought some, this is the matching gold ribbon this is the one I was mentioning that is not retiring um you can tie it in a bow I'm my favorite trick with ribbon through a tag the easiest way to use it in my opinion is to just thread it through like this just a little bit longer than what you anticipate it's going to end up and then we'll grab some grab our ribbon scissors and just chop it off We're going to be we're going to be neatening that up later so don't worry too much about it and then i get some linen thread always 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 i have linen thread on my desk it is just the most useful stuff and i use it for so many different things i mean you can use gold twine you can use other colors but this linen thread is a staple year in year out and i thoroughly recommend that you have some in your stash because it goes with everything it also looks really good tied in knots on mail cards and things like that. So you can do lots of different things with it. Um, I don't tend to tie bows on mail cards, but it's great for all kinds of stuff. And it's been around forever. I remember having this since the early days that I was a demonstrator. All right, let's just twist that so it sits right. Doesn't, it wants to go up in the air, but that's okay. I'm going to cut this shorter now, now that I can see what it looks like. And then on the back of this, I'm going to pop a couple of dimensionals. makes sense close ink did I close it or did I not this is this has become a little joke between you and me Jodie and I'm sure other people have heard me <laughs> just trying to keep Jodie happy because she doesn't like it when I leave my ink pads open and for good reason I mean I really should close them I just don't think to do it I'm not very good at that all right so I have got here on my table let me, let me clean a couple of my stamps and get them away because I'm going to do something else in a second. Um, so I've got my stamp and scrub. I cleaned it after last Sunday night when I realized how dirty it was. And um, I must remember to do it more often because, boy, it makes a difference. And this one. Let's get these away. And we've got 
one more step. There it is. I love this little splotchy stamp, this one. I just think it's so useful. I love I love being able to create little splotchy backgrounds with a stamp like that. And you stamp them full strength and then stamp them off. And you get lots of different colours and tones. It's just a really nice way of using those kind of splotchy stamps. <laughs> I'm glad I'm making you happy, Jody. <laughs> Oh, no, Margaret, that sounds a little bit um, a bit difficult. Pulling a blind too hard. Was she very, very, really trying to get that blind down? You know what? I didn't end up using this, and I still need to. We're going to use it because I said I would. I thought I was going to call this a finished card, and then I thought, hang on a second, I didn't use the leaves. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to trim off some of the leaves. And what I love about this big leaf die is you can just cut bits and pieces wherever. So... You know, I can have this coming out from behind here, which actually looks quite nice. Or if that's too big, we can do a smaller piece. Maybe it is too big. Let's, let's try that. Yep, and there's a little piece here that didn't pop out. Can you see that? All right, so let's add a little bit of... Tombow multi-purpose glue. One, two, three. Just you don't need much of this. In fact, it's really easy to put too much. So just a little bit here and there. And we might add a tiny, tiny little bit. Coming out on this side. Yep, just these couple. <laughs> Don't need much at all, do we? Because there's not much real estate there to work with. But the good thing about cutting this out of gold is it really creates a really nice, like a nice bit of shine coming out from behind all right that's cute all right so let's add some tombow to the back of this <laughs> goodness me he's a bit heavy-handed with the blind then margaret Right, there we go. There it is. It's pre finished and it's very, very pretty. And you really can't go far wrong with this paper. I just think this paper is beautiful. I am super surprised it's still available. It's not marked down, but I think it will. I'm still, you know, I still think it's worth having. It's $26 for the pack of 12, two of each of six different designs. Um, the stamps, though, and the dies are way marked down. I think they're half price. Let me just double check before I tell you that for sure. Um, okay, so the stamp set is called Beauty of Tomorrow. And that is normally $38 marked down to $19. So it's 50% off. And the Beautiful Leaves dies are also 50% off. Um, and those are $29.50. They're normally $59. So super, super good deal if you love these. This one. And the matching dies. Um, and, of course, the paper, even though it's not marked down, is still a great buy because it's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. So there you go. If you're looking, if you don't know how to buy them, if you're not sure where to go to get them, I have an online store and you can go there. Any, If you're in Australia, you just head along to that store. If you're not in Australia and you want these things, let me know and I'll put you in touch with someone wonderful close to you. Okay, if you're in the US, um, I know... A fabulous demonstrator who can look after you over there so um, so by all means get in touch and I'll I'll point you in the right direction so there we go all right I'm gonna pop that one aside this one will go up on I'll put it on um, Instagram later and Facebook so that you can have a little look at it close up which will be nice let me get rid of these colors 
and I'll use that on another. I chop up those leaves and then I use them on other projects because they're just so nice. So I hope I get to use them again before it finishes. Okay, get a couple of things off my desk. Anyone? Thank you, Kay. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jean. I'm really glad you guys like it. It's just, I don't know. This I just love this set, and I'm going to be really sad to see it go. But with that's, you know what? You know what um, relieves the sadness of saying goodbye to a set that we really like? You know what fixes that, don't you? Who can tell me what fixes it? What's inside it, Linda? Sorry, what's inside? Oh, I'm so sorry, Cherie. What was inside what? I'm so sorry. I missed that. Did I close up something? <laughs> Did I? I don't know. Maybe I did. So if anyone hasn't guessed, what's inside the card? Nothing yet. I will, to use this card, I could write on it just as it is. I tell you what we could do, we could also stamp over the edges with some of these same stamps, like these little leaf stamps, little foliage would be really nice over the corner. I very often stamp over the corner of a, of a card, or we could put an insert and stamp on that if we wanted to. So inserts are great for, um, for, Especially if you're using a dark cardstock, you can put an insert in, like in white or vanilla that matches, and then write on that. So I haven't... Yes, you are correct, Jean and Helen. New products. New products make us feel better. So even though we're sad about stuff saying goodbye, the fact that we have new stuff coming out makes us get over it. We just do. All right. And I made a card earlier with a brand new set. And it's called Rainbows of Happiness or Rainbow of Happiness. And it's in our new catalog. And it's this one right here. And it also has matching dies. Call, oh, no, that's not them. <laughs> Better get the right dies. That's the ones we just used. That's our beautiful leaves. Let's get out the Rainbows of Happiness. They're called Brilliant Rainbow Dies. And as you can see, I haven't even opened them yet. So, brilliant rainbow dice. This little card that I made earlier today is literally just simple stamping and I, I added a ribbon. There's no fanciness to this at all. It's just I used one, two, three, four, the rainbow pieces, um, and then I added some, this little rainbow with the little, like, little lines on it. I added that over the top of the second smallest little rainbow piece, so I went with a lighter colour there so I could do that. And I added a ribbon, and that was it. So sometimes you don't need very much at all to make a pretty card, and it's quick and easy, right? So let's add a couple of things and see what we can do with this because this has got some fun things in it. Is anyone else into rainbows? <laughs> you can see a rainbow. You're right, Jody. That's a good idea to use photocopy paper as your inserts, although I tend to use Whisper White, uh, or sorry, Basic White now. Um, these are the, the rainbow, brilliant rainbow dies. Yep, that's them. And you've got this lovely little edge, like a little rainbow edge. They've got a bigger one here. There's also some little clouds, which are super cute, and some half rainbow pieces. And then these rainbow pieces here cut out a bunch of, like all at once, your different size pieces that all go one inside the other. So they coordinate with the rainbow set. They don't necessarily match all the pieces, though. So... Um, I was thinking it might be fun to use some of these little clouds, but also maybe do a little bit of, and this one does like a scallop. There's four clouds in there. They're super cute. And this would be really nice down the edge of a page, um, maybe a, on a scrapbook page. This would be really nice coming out from behind a photograph or down the edge of a card. So um, there are some really nice samples in the new catalogue. The new catalogue, by the way, is coming out on the 4th. 
of January, but this one right here, okay? It's got all the poppies and bits and pieces on it. And just to make everyone extra super duper happy, we've also got this thing coming out, which is the new celebration catalogs. So this one comes out on the 4th of January as well. So same day they both come out, but the celebration promotion only runs until the end of February, whereas this catalogue goes right through until June. Okay, so these will be together in January and February. So that's a bit exciting. All right, so let's see what we can do here. I thought, like I said, I would do a couple of clouds and I'm going to start, let me, let me bring in my trimmer. I'm going to, I've got some... Whisper white, oh, I keep saying whisper white, basic white paper. So let's start with a standard. And I like the colors I used earlier. I thought they were really nice. Actually, I just realized that this is a shorter piece, so I'm gonna to have to go a little smaller the other way. Okay. So this time I might go landscape. I see. Yeah, that, that is a good idea to have cards that can be recycled. Um, I actually don't know the answer to that, Cherie. I'd love to tell you I know exactly the answer, but sometimes the names match up more specifically, whereas this time, this in this case, they don't. So your stamp set is called Rainbow of Happiness, and then the die set is called Brilliant Rainbow Dice. One possible reason, if I'm thinking about it, is that if they decide to discontinue the stamp set and continue the dies, which they do sometimes, then then there's no reason to, you wouldn't want the, the names to match or people would be confused. They think both were retiring maybe. Um, I know that um, in the case of the stars, for example, um, the star set, I forget what that was called, but the one that matches all the stitch stars that we have, we still have the stitch stars dies, but then there was a matching stamp set. That matching stamp set has gone, but the stitch dies are still there. So they, even though they were made to go together, they didn't stay that way. So I'm going to start with, I'm just looking at the, I'm looking at the dies and thinking about, I do think I'm going to use the clouds. Now this is, this big one is interesting because if I wanted to do like a rainbow hanging off the edge of the page, I could do that. Oh, just take it all off and I could have it you know coming over the edge here in fact I quite like that let's do that <laughs> change of plans guys as I find something else I like the look of um we have got and I think even though they're not meant to match I think these are really really nice this is some new shimmer paper uh glimmer paper it's actually called supple shimmer is what it's called um, and it's got like a pink glitter paper, which is like blushing bride kind of pink. And then the catalog says pink and blue, but really, I don't know. This is the other sheet that's in there and it's not nearly as blue as what it says in the catalog. In fact, it looks like, um, it almost looks a little bit bluey green. There's blue and green shimmer, and that is actually because the colour is meant to be iridescent pool party, okay? And if you know pool party, pool party is a really, really light, very light blue, and some people call it green. I personally think of it as a blue, but I know a lot of my customers think of it as a green. Um, so um, that's what it is. It's iridescent pool party. So it's a bluey, greeny colour, and it's definitely not like what it looks like in the catalogue. So definitely bear that in mind if you're looking at it in the catalogue and thinking, oh, you know, that that's very blue. It really isn't, okay? It's more of a pool party colour. So really that's actually been um, issued as a correction because, because it's really not the colour at all. So I'm actually going to cut this. I'm going to cut it at the halfway mark and I'm going to cut, I've got a pink and I've got a pool party. So let's, let's bring our machine in and I'm going to pop this on top of here. 
and I'm going to actually I'm going to turn this around just want to make sure I'm using as little paper as possible better use of my paper don't want to waste it right, so we've got the pool party iridescent pool party I'm going to run that through and let's see how it looks I'm going to bring it through and back again not that I really need to but that's just a habit that I have so now we have separate pieces and I'm going to do the same with my pink It is beautiful, isn't it, Sheree? I agree. It is gorgeous. Um, I don't know why they called it. It's not subtle. It's supple. S-U-P-P-L-E. Isn't that weird? I don't know why they called it that. To me, that's kind of odd. Not subtle. <laughs> Although I can understand why you might have heard me say that. Let's move those out of the way. And let's see what this is going to look like. So this would look nice on a pool party base too, given that we know this is pool party, pool party shimmer. So let's let's see what this looks like. Um, Lining it up with the edge. So then we end up with sort of half a rainbow and then I could use these ones, the opposite ones, on a different... Let's do that. So this is something totally different, right? I don't know if you've noticed. Um, I have a, a friend who I chat to. She's kind of my... Whoops, just dropped it, picked it up again. Um, we talk, she's a friend of mine in the US and a demonstrator friend, and we talk a lot about all kinds of stuff. And um, she told me she's not into rainbows. She really doesn't like them. And I was not sure if I loved them or not. I mean, I like them, but, you know, wasn't sure how much I was going to use them. And I don't know if you've seen, but if you go out at the moment, into like home decor or, um, you know, women's clothing stores. Rainbows are everywhere. There's, they're all over the place. And they're these kind of slightly wonky rainbows. Um, so they're on mugs and they're on, you know, all kinds of cushions and T-shirts and all sorts of stuff. So <laughs> it's kind of interesting. So I'm ending up with something absolutely, totally different to what I anticipated. <laughs> I don't. It's lightweight? I don't think it is. It just feels like normal old glimmer paper to me. I'm not sure if somebody was having a funny day when they named this. Seems, seems a little odd to me, but anyway. All right, how's this looking? Isn't this cute? Something really, really different. All right, so we've got some nice words. We have a you make me happy, you make this world a better place, and a thank you. Um, sending you a rainbow of happiness, which actually fits over one of these. So if you wanted to, you could stamp uh, in a light color one of the pieces and then stamp this, sending you a rainbow of happiness in a darker color um, and a little something to brighten your day, which I could put the little something to brighten your day. I could put that, that would fit quite nicely up here, or I could have the you make me happy down the bottom across here, which is kind of tempting. If I put, okay, so here's what I'm thinking and I'm going to get you guys to choose. If I put the little something to brighten your day up here, then I'm going to put some clouds along the bottom. If I put um, the you make me happy along the bottom, then I'm going to put some clouds up the top. 
I think I know which one I prefer, but the first person to answer is going to get their choice. So tell me what you think. Do you want... How nice is this? It's really nice playing with new stuff. There's nothing quite like it. I've got a big box of new stuff that I haven't even used very much of it yet. So this is the first time I've used these tonight. Okay, first person. Margaret, you said clouds top. Okay, we are doing clouds at the top. And then we're going to use stamp. Here I go here. I have got my You Make Me Happy. We're going to put that at the bottom. So let's pick that up. And I think I'm going to do that, deciding what colour. I think I will do that in... Let's try Polish Pink or shall we try Blushing Bride? I think Polish Pink. That's, that's this one here. Oh, we've got a couple of different opinions, but Margaret, you were first. So, well, you're first on my computer, on my laptop. That's how it appears to me. All right, so let's go. You make me happy down here. That's cute. A pot of gold at the bottom would make me happy too. <laughs> I'm with you, Cherie. Excellent. All right, so let's put our clouds at the top now. The next thing is, I was going to say we could cut our clouds out of this, but then I think that might be too much sparkle. So, and you might notice I have actually cut clouds with the new cloud punch with this paper before. But I'm thinking maybe I'll do it in white with the clouds that are actually in, in here. And we've got a couple of different cloud dies. We've got one that cuts two clouds at once. And then a bigger cloud here. So let's do let's do three, and then we can always decide later if we want to add more. But we'll start we'll start with it just um, just nice and simple. Grab some white. And there's two. There's another one. Wants to stick to my finger because my finger has a little bit of Tombow already on it. So my finger is sticky. Oh, bye, Kay. Are you heading off? <laughs> Hopefully see you soon. Hope all is well with you and that you and Jeff have a lovely new year. All right, so I've got myself three clouds. Let's move this out of the way. And let's see. I'll put these back before I don't know where they go. So these two go here and this one goes here. And I think we need to put some of these at least on two dimensionals if not all let's have a look and see that one goes here mm, actually I'm going to need mini dimensionals for the others because they're a bit smaller one behind there one behind here I think they would look nice I was thinking rather than edging them with blue Cherie I was thinking what I probably would like to do and I still could do it is maybe use my blending brushes to come over this edge a little bit with a bit of pool party ink over the corner and then the, the clouds would stand out more against that pool party ink and I'm still thinking about maybe doing that um, what do you think? Would that look good? Because they would stand out more. Yeah, pool party. I agree. I'm just having a look to see. I've got pool 
party ink. So let me very, very carefully take these off. And one more. Just being really, really gentle when you take them off. You can get them off if you do it like that. So I'm going to start here in the corner and I'm going to come in. Now, if I'd thought about this before, I would have done this bit of sponging probably before I stuck the glimmer on. So if I'm doing it again, that's how I would do that. But still, it's not bad. So let's try that again. And they should look better this time. There we go. They do stand out a bit more. Can you see that? All right. So I'm thinking, seeing as we already had some polished pink, would this, is this the right color? Mm, it's a bit too pink, isn't it? Let's try a different pink. Options would be Flirty Flamingo or probably that's too orange or too coral. Maybe, maybe I have to go with Pool Party actually. There's also Blushing Bride. That's another option. But I'm thinking Pool Party is the go. Here we go. Okay, and that's actually the right size piece as well. So I'm going to, you could use either Tombow or you could also use um, Seal to attach this or even tape if, you put, if you're a tape lover. I used to only use tape once upon a time, but these days it drives me crazy all taking off the little pieces on the back and then they stick to my fingers and have to throw them away. All right, and then this is gonna go on a piece of uh, white, just plain old white cardstock. And I'm thinking we need some, I know what we need. These are my new favorite embellishments from the new catalog. Let me just find them, because I know, oh, there I go, dropped my pens on the floor. Okay, here they are. Um, these are new. And they are iridescent rhinestones. I absolutely love them. And they have lots of different colours in them. When you look at them in the light, there's pinks and blues and greens. And they're perfect for this, actually. So I'm going to start with one down here in the bottom. They come in three sizes. Medium, large. Oh, that one might have a cat hair. Ah, <laughs> ah crumpet. All right like that and then I'll pop that on a a um, white card base and we're going to call that a finished card what do you think doesn't that look good it does look good on the pool party the pool party really pulls out the colors in this lovely shimmer paper glimmer paper whatever you whatever you call it supple paper makes no sense to me guys but that's what they're calling it <laughs> I'm not in the naming department I don't know these things here we go I've got a piece of piece of white this is just basic white and I'm going to cut this is thick basic white thick and let's cut that in half here in Australia um, basic white cardstock has been out of stock for quite a while and very very hard to get so I hope it will come in soon because it's uh, sorely missed while we don't have it a mark on that that's the perfect place to put card front <laughs> here we go all right well how did we go tonight we did something old and something new and so much for being quicker tonight i thought i would be but you know oh well time flies when you're having fun right and there we go finished
finished card. We've got two beautiful cards tonight. The other one's floating around somewhere. This is the one I made earlier today. So that one's just stamped with a ribbon. And this one, I used some of the, well, I used the sentiment stamp from the same set. So this is from this set as well. Um, but I had anticipated tonight I was going to do more playing around with the rainbows, but I didn't in the end. I used the dies, which I think look rather fantastic. What do you think? Are we liking this? You're radical. You would go Smoky Slate. Oh, Smoky Slate would also look interesting. Nice. It does help the clouds stand out, Jody. You are correct. I think we did good. I think it all worked out pretty nice, to be honest. Oh, I know where the other card is. I put it over on my, I put it over on my, um, in my light box, ready to be photographed. That's how organised I am. That's why I can't find it because I'm too organised for my own good. But let's just look at these pretty ones now, and I'll put the other one up for you a little later. Um, if anybody wants to order anything between now and the 3rd of January from the existing catalogue before it finishes up, head over to my online store. You can either get there on my Facebook page, there's a Shop Now button, or on my blog and there's a Shop Now button. I'll put all the links um, in the description below for you. Um, and please, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, I love it when people come back and watch me week after week. And if you'd like to see when I go live, then the best way to do that is here. Um, hit that subscribe button and um, and then you'll get to see when I'm here. Have a fantastic week guys. If you have um, if you still have family staying with you, enjoy their company and um, and relish in, in those moments and I hope everyone uh, has a fantastic week ahead and I will see some of you on Friday night. Have a great week. Bye bye.